Hello my Soccer Universe, has been a long time in the making that I'm gonna look at a few more Corona, not only news, but also another suggestion of how championships can finish. I honestly, yes, I just want to pull it out there for league after league after league and we have one more that's league, uh, which will probably take a little while uh, given my current work uh, situation, but my hours will be reduced starting April 1st. So I think there will be a little bit more time for that. Um, before I get into it, I'm trying something here. I want to make my entry for the shirts are challenge from Classic Football Shirts, who I just read will be stopping um, deliveries. You can make orders, but they will stop deliveries um, up until further notice. So I'm glad I got my order in with the Parma shirt I was wearing yesterday and the Roma shirt. But yeah, I'm trying here something. Uh, but I thought, yeah, for this video, let's pull out my three Bundesliga jerseys. I wanted to do this, this thing for the Premier League and for La Liga already, but um, now I'm doing it. Hope you like it. Uh, and there will be something special. I'm actually, if I get it done, I'm planning to kind of time lapse video what I'm planning. Anyway. Coronavirus, what can I tell you? Um, I think the biggest news for me, the one that might have, could have the biggest impact is that um, lower leagues, I think seventh year and below in England, voided the season. Uh, that's only a first step, but um, makes somewhat sense. And I have a feeling that many will follow this way, especially in Great Britain. Um, I'm not an expert now the situation in Great Britain. I know that they uh, were rather slow to react to closing down the public, uh, actually risking a few more infections, which um, whatever you read, it might be a smart thing to get herd immunity, but you're also playing with people's lives. Um, so let's see. Uh, but I think that the Premier League will probably have among all the hardest time to really finish the season. Despite everything they've been putting out last week, we're gonna finish the season no matter what. I think they already the tone is a little bit coming down. Uh, in Italy, they tried to open, especially Lazio, the training grounds. They could not go through with it just because the situation in Italy is still dire. I hear that new infections are slowing and I still expect Serie A of all the leagues probably to be the one that's back first for the simple reason that you know uh, there is not uh, if you're gonna finish it um, Italy should be out of it first they were the first ones in and despite all the drama and probably Italy will have a big peak and if you look at the stats the big peak actually means that you threw it even faster I mean what a horrible way to do it but I can imagine that Serie A might finish that and Serie A is the only league so far that has actually kind of indicated they will uh, do a mini league thing to finish out the season. Um, if I look at Spain, I think Spain's situation is really bad, uh, especially around Madrid. We hear the news that, you know, uh, all kinds of players and other sportsmen are donating money. I think that uh, Barcelona is giving their uh, grounds uh, to help with the situation. On the other side, they're also cutting the salaries of all employees, which for the soccer players, for the most part, is probably fine. Uh, but for other employees, mm -hmm. this could be tough. Maybe someone will chip in there. Uh, but I think Spain, together with the Premier League, and those are the two biggest leagues, I have a feeling that they might be the last ones to uh, reopen. I think Germany has kind of also a mixed strategy. We'll talk about Germany soon. I think Germany might do it, uh, especially with playing games behind closed doors. I don't know about the situation in France, but I, th I think it's slightly better than in France, uh, than in Spain or Italy, but still uh, not all that great. So those are the five big leagues. Another potential block is this June 30th deadline uh, that we've been talking before where the contracts expire. Now the leagues, especially Spain and Italy, are 
kind of campaigning can we move this back for once that you know all the players are under contract let's say two weeks or three or even a month longer which um, sounds all right overall but I think there could be major legal implications um, I think Hakim Ziyech is one that comes to mind he's moving to Chelsea starting July 1st probably even earning more money um, I could imagine that I'm not saying that he will decide not to fulfill his contract but you know uh, if he would say hey I've done everything I gave everything for Ajax I wanna help Chelsea and maybe help Chelsea get into the Champions League what do you do then so that's that's a rather iffy problem I have the feeling yeah, I mean, you can finish the leagues, but the June 30th deadline might be a tough one. That might be a tough one to really go to. Here in Austria, things are relatively quiet. Um, as in Germany, it is expected mid-May could be matches again. Personally, um, you know my stance, since Lask is currently first, we have the um, main round completed, and now it's only the championship round where the top six play against each other, like this mini-league system. To be honest, you can hand Lask at least the title. Um, promotion rele relegation, it, it's a little bit more tricky, I have to say. Uh, but even that, in that case, and I think Greece is the same, but in that case, I think there could be a fair point be made. We have enough information to dish out European spots and so on. But yeah, Germany is eyeing at least the league is probably saying is eyeing a mid-May restart and most likely behind closed doors but you know you have to fulfill TV contracts because the, it's the money I mean uh, worldwide I think this crisis could lead to that we are returning to a much different landscape economically and I think this might also be reflected in the soccer landscape so we have to see that and to me it is now speaking again from personal experience for Lask that they are saying we keep playing our full salaries we have the back financial backing no matter what guaranteed until the end of the season this is amazing Lask was usually about, will have been one usually one of the teams that will go down first so that sounds good but yeah in Germany uh, they also trying to help out I mean many players are reducing their salaries but you know also players are kind of lining themselves up um, to move soon because now is the time to get your advisors and managers in so it's a fluid situation that we have to just mon monitor but let's say if Germany can finish out uh, the season uh, and really if it starts in May honestly with the Euros gun uh, Germany has nine rounds left to play uh, if there are no European competitions and I have to say for me television contracts aside but I think the easiest uh, decision for me would be to scrap European competition there is too much uncertainty absolutely too much uncertainty uh, of having players from highly affected regions I mean Spain Italy and France uh, and Great Britain they're all coming together it is too much of a risk that it can spread all over again uh, even if you don't have fans travel it just needs one or two to spread it better I think the risk is too big and then the file being in Turkey now we see Turkey the numbers are rising even Russia the numbers are on the rise uh, anyway the numbers were anyway high there or already but there was no testing that's the problem uh, you know if you know a little bit about statistics and how those and a little bit of biology you know that things are bad there it's just we don't have reported now because they only to take tests uh, if they would take uh, good samples you could actually quickly estimate how, how, how many are there but yeah here it was really helpful for people to have good stats classes that's what I've been teaching but yeah 
So nine rounds uh, would be left, which let's say you start mid-May, you have to finish June 30th. Um, you could play five rounds and if you put them in the midweeks, you could probably play nine rounds. Uh, the only thing is that Frankfurt and Bremen have still a game in hand. That is the one thing that might be a little bit worrisome because they would have 10 games. But potentially it is doable. I think it's a little bit much. So again, I am suggesting, as I did before, that we split the league. And the special case for Germany is that they have only 18 teams. All the other leagues have 20 teams. So um, the 10 10 split will not work, and I'm not going to do a 9 9 split because of the uneven numbers. We tried that for Italy and we saw it didn't really work out well. But what we can definitely do is a 6 6 6 split, and that's the first thing we're going to try here. Uh, the obvious disadvantage of that is also that it's rather uneven. We have Leipzig with already 9, and then also Hertha with 9, and Augsburg would have only 6 games. Uh, in a League League 6, we would have played 10 games. So on average, we would have 2 rounds left, so this would be a rather short season, but we have Augsburg has to make 4 games, and Leipzig has to wait, so um, that might be a little bit too uh, iffy. But if we sort it out, I th still think it gives a very interesting picture. Leipzig, of course, in the lead, but has 9 games. Uh, Bayern, Dortmund and Leverkusen all with 11 points after 7 games and they are making a lot of points among the top 6. So that to me was the most interesting and how Gladbach is actually, even with the game more, actually falling behind on level with Schalke. I think this is a very telling sign uh, where things might go. Um, also that Bayern, uh, Dortmund and Leverkusen still have games in among the top teams and if it was really that the 18 team league finishes Leipzig has only one game left against the top uh, six opponents so that could actually be a little bit in their favor although they're now five points off the lead but it doesn't seem unsurmountable but if it was within just the top six Leipzig has no chance I would uh, say uh, with having uh, only one game they can make only 15 points and the others uh, can easily make uh, two wins there. So I think it would be between Bayern, Dortmund and Leverkusen, a team that actually uh, is not all that much on the top in the Bundesliga. I mean, it's going in there, but at the moment only in fifth place with eight points behind. Uh, the middle league is also interesting um, that we have Freiburg here on top ahead of Wolfsburg and uh, Frankfurt and Hoffenheim kind of in the middle. This is a very even thing you have Köln against Frankfurt. That's the one that's missing here. So then you would have e quite even. So this middle league I actually like. And then uh, towards, towards the bottom we get Düsseldorf, Bremen, Paderborn, the ones we usually get. Paderborn with a game in hand but and Hertha with nine games already played and only 12 points would honestly be on the edge there, they might just make it because Düsseldorf needs a win and a little bit more, but this could be a sprint. Augsburg and Mainz in that scenario would look actually safe for going down. Another option is, I think, to split it in 8 and 10. And I think I would make the 8 the top 8 and then uh, the 10 below it kind of fits a little bit. And then if you want it, you could say that, let's see, it's, uh, Hoffenheim would finish uh, top of the uh, B Bundesliga and let's say Wolfsburg uh, finish in the last um, European spot that you have a playoff between Hoffenheim and Wolfsburg, kind of to make up for this discrepancy. But uh, again, we have a little bit the issue with Leipzig having played a lot of games against the top teams, 12. So there are four games ahead of Wolfsburg and Freiburg. So uh, that is, I think, the big downside. And also in the lower league where we have 10, so it would be 18 games. Um, where, yeah, if you look at Hoffenheim, they have 11, so they would have to play seven rounds. And then the likes of Hertha uh would have to play only four rounds so not perfect but let's straighten it out because we still learn something this case dortmund with a game more is one point ahead of bayern um had 
Dortmund would better win the home game against Bayern if they want to have a chance there. Leipzig again is a little bit out and it's again Dortmund, Bayern and Leverkusen. And I think if this break wouldn't have happened, I think Leverkusen might have stormed into the top four and I think at the expense of Gladbach. If I look at it, uh, it's pretty clear that uh, Gladbach, Schalke, Freiburg, Wolfsburg are kind of the second tier in those top eight to me. And if you look at the bottom, now we see it. And uh, I'm wearing Hertha because I love this jersey so much, but it really looks dire for Hertha. I think also for Bremen and Paderborn, but there's lots to play. And I think you can say that if you look at the bottom league, Mainz, Augsburg are relatively safe, but everything from Union to Paderborn still is in this relegation battle. Bremen and Bremen probably has a little bit harder task than Pat Paderborn, who has uh, two, two games in hand. But yeah, Hertha, Düsseldorf, Köln is surprisingly low in there, but they have a game, they have a few games in hand. Uh, Frankfurt, Hoffenheim, Union, it seems very, very close together. So yeah, um, I'm not happy with any of these. I think I was the happiest for the Serie A when I did this video, video originally. But, I still like the idea best. It just speaks that you, if you schedule uh, a league, you should maybe take also into account the relative strengths and kind of try to even it out that, that way. You especially see with Lyon Leipzig, they've done with many top games and that, uh, games against the top teams. So uh, you would expect Leipzig to go on a run and make kind of uh, points, which the other teams will not have uh, in, in, anymore. They will probably grind themselves out so let's see i have not found a good solution for the bonus league it seems uh how to continue um i think mini leagues is the way to go but you have to find a good way how to finish up maybe you can really do the 666 but then you, you still have 10 rounds to play and at the moment you have nine rounds uh to finish in the bonus league, so you might as well finish the bonus league out uh the way it is Again, the June 30th deadline. That's the big cutoff date, it has to be said. Anyway, if you have any solutions of how the Bundesliga could, could continue, let me know in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.